Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on database rules, use cases uh, number three. In this use case, we are going to cover how Snowflake shared database rule works. So uh, this, this is an extension uh, to my previous demo or you would say like uh, another use case where Snowflake has created the database rules and shared as part of their Snowflake shared databases. So uh, if you uh, uh, if you are aware that uh, whenever we create an account, the Snowflake database is pre-created for every user, right? And that user uh, will have full access. And if you want to share the same database with any other user, you have to give them the import uh, import share privilege. Uh, and when they use that uh, privilege, they can import the entire database. So they will have access to entire database, all the schemas or none of them so it was one of the uh, concern uh, which was raised to snowflake uh, multiple time in the past where we wanted to give the limited privilege or the customized window to the end uh, user based on their need rather than uh, giving them entire uh, database level access but previously it was not possible because once you give the imported privilege to any user, they will have access to entire database. So there was no other means in short to uh, do the customization around Snowflake database access, uses uh, database access. Uh, and uh, now uh, Snowflake has uh, come up with the customization. So they have started implementing the same along with the use of database ro level role. So they have created a database role for various uh, functional uh, role so those roles are targeting a specific functionality like functional area so uh, some are related to uh, only viewing the account uses some are related to billing some are, some are related to organization so all the schemas are further segregated into different uh, small window restricted window where they will see certain limited uh, access of the views only which is decided uh, by Snowflake. And if you want to give the entire database access to any user, you are still uh, free to do that. So the functionality which was working earlier is still working. But if you want to restrict the access, uh, because in some cases you don't want to give the entire uh, users uh, access to everybody. So you can do that by using this new feature of shared uh, database rules. So let's start with the demo. But before going to demo, I just wanted to highlight that if you have not seen my recent uh, blog on database role, I would recommend you to please go through that so that you understand what uh, and how we can use the database role in Snowflake before uh, implementing this. So we need to understand the use case before implementing in the Snowflake. So let's start. Uh, I will just connect to my Snowflake database. And if you are following my previous demos, you will be able to understand that uh, how we have worked with uh, database level roles and uh, this use case or this demo is only going to target on the Snowflake database. So uh, I'm going to use the account admin standard uh, role and I'm going to use the pre-created uh, warehouse for this demo. I'm going to create a new user called Rajiv uh, with a simple password called Rajiv and I'm forcefully marking that not to change the password. Uh, so that I can use the same password for my next login. I'm going to create a new role, account level role, so that I can give this to the user. And I'm going to give uh, compute uses and this role to sysadmin and the user so that I can create the role hierarchy as well as the user can have the privilege to use this role. So these are pretty much standard, nothing different. But once I did that, now my user will be able to connect. So I have opened another uh, here uh, Snowflake account and I'm going to use the same for my validation. So once I log in, you will see that I have only two database. One is sample database. Let me go here, open a worksheet and go on database tab. And you will see that by default, I have access to Snowflake database. but at the moment snowflake is not giving me everything and it is only giving me access because my role is selected as public so i only have access to this role which is public to everybody now if i switch my role and select this role and select this warehouse 
still i don't see anything extra because at the moment i have not given anything to my any of the room right so now you can see that uh, i have access to alert which is also given to the public role and core which is also given in the public role and information schema is the default schema now i will switch back to my uh, original uh, snow site uh, login where i will start giving access so first of all i wanted to showcase you that if i give only one grant which is object viewer what all views i am able to view from the account users view so for all the view all the schema which was there as part of uh, snowflake database if you come here so there are different uh, schema under snowflake database so account users is the most important uh, schema which we generally uh, use to get all the users related information all the metadata related information and data sharing users is going to cover all the data sharing related metadata organization users is going to cover entire organization related users information reader account is going to cover the users of the reader account and likewise so let's start with the account users i will only give the object viewer where i will only have access to all the object related metadata table and not the users related so i will just go and give this access and if i come here i will if i refresh i will see that i have now account users access and now if i go and click on view i will see all the metadata table which is related to object and nothing is related to users of any of the thing i will quickly go here and i will start giving the users viewer role and then if i come here and do another refresh i will see that the table or the view uh, has been increased because now i have given the another role access so you can see that now i have also the access of the users information here and uh, likewise if i start giving the grants of other roles you will see that all the other uh, schema is now visible to my this role so if i go and refresh and if i minimize it i will see that now i have access to organization users as well as uh, reader account users view and all the view is also visible to me this is what uh, this is what uh, snowflake has implemented and given uh, given us an opportunity where we can restrict the uh, visibility of this snowflake database uh, to the consumer regardless of giving them entire uh, access now we can also revoke the database level role from the account level role using the revoke database role like this and now if i go back you will see that now i don't have any access and it will move back to the previous state similarly i can also drop the u account role and the user because now i don't need them anymore but this is just to give you an uh, understanding that uh, how database level uh, role is working along with the sheet database i just wanted to highlight that at the moment i only see that database level role is working with the standard uh, shared databases uh i try to create the same along with the normal uh, data sharing use case for my custom data sharing and it was not working so maybe it's still in working progress because this feature is still in preview so most probably in few days or in some time we might see that this this database level role is also enabled for us uh when we are sharing the data base Uh, along with that we can also share the database level role so i just wanted to uh, see so please keep a tab on that and hopefully we'll see this uh, announcement in future before we go live with this feature so if you like this demo please subscribe to my channel and like this video thank you